Okay, guys, so as you know, intermittent fasting is very valuable. It helps to weight loss, that's for sure, if you're watching this for weight loss. If you have diabetes or pre-diabetes or insulin resistance, you name it, whatever you have, it is going to help you dramatically without sacrificing everything you love, right? So you don't have to go into this diet, that diet, stop eating this forever, keep salivating. No, <laughs> no, you don't, you don't want to do that. You want to have a life, but you need to adapt to a condition called intermittent fasting, which is very, very healthy. So intermittent fasting, which as you know, triggers a lot of things in your body. It triggers ketosis, and when you're in ketosis, when you're in fasting mode, you're not only burning fat, but you are actually repairing your body. So you're giving time for your body to heal from all the environmental damage that is also associated with the damage that comes from the food. So if you think that you're eating food and everything is uh, pinks and roses, that's not true. It is actually damaging your body every time you put food into your body. Especially some of these foods are if they're inflammatory, such as, you know, fried food, processed foods, and stuff like that, which we don't recommend. But, you know, it sometimes happens. You're on the road. You're going to grab something, whatever. It can happen. And how to prevent the damage in the long term, you know, or you may be overeating. Let's say you go to your relatives and you end up binging a little bit, eating the things that you're not supposed to eat. Even if that's not the case, you know, on a daily basis, giving your body to heal, process the food that you have had before is going to help dramatically. But there are different ways. So if you are not able to do it one way, you can do it another way. That's why we are going to talk about five ways of intermittent fasting. Now, number one, basically you will fast 16 hours and eat eight hours. The most popular is this one. So basically a lot of people don't really eat breakfast. So for them, it's easy to skip the breakfast. So the first meal is typically around 11 or 12, okay? And then you eat and, and if you're working at work, the good thing is if you're busy enough, you're not gonna be keep eating. So we don't recommend really snacking as much. But you can have a meal at noon and you can have a dinner and lay this at seven or eight o'clock and that's it. And after that, you're not snacking, you're not eating anything else after that. So after seven or eight o'clock, you're not eating anything, which is great because a lot of people end up snacking after dinner. And those snacks add up and prevents the weight loss, especially anything you eat too late. If you're not burning, your body will store that into fat. So as a result, Highly recommended that not to eat anything after 7 or 8 o'clock and skip to breakfast. That's going to give you a total of 16 hours of fasting, which is enough time for your body to process what it had before and also clean up the mass and create the fasting that you need to burn fat. Now, number two, not everybody can do 18-6 diet. The reason is like for somebody like me who works out like crazy in the morning, within a couple hours, my body will be screaming at me because like I burn so much calories and if I didn't eat well the night before, then I am in trouble because, you know, I will be severely hungry that may defeat the purpose so for those people you can do five two which means that you basically eat very little on the day that you didn't exercise for example so and when you don't exercise you don't necessarily be hungry especially for me so let's say i exercise on monday and i ate normally on tuesday i skip the exercise but I'm gonna only have 600 to 800 calories. If I'm a woman, woman, I am okay to go down to 600 calories for one day. As long as you don't do that every day, that's not necessarily starvation. And there's other types of diet that allow you to do that for a week or two or a couple of weeks or a couple of months. But as long as you don't make it a lifestyle, that's not necessarily a starvation. So you go for one day on a very, very low calorie. Next day you resume, you work out, you, you resume. Even if you don't work out, you know, just, you know, it has a sensible diet, still paying attention to your diet on an, another day. And then let's say you, you do that on Tuesday or one another day of the week, say on a Friday, you do again a very, very low calorie diet and then you're good. Of course, when you're going on a very low calorie diet, we do not just recommend eating anything. You don't just recommend just eating cookies worth 600 calories. You need to have nutritious food and especially, you know, Mediterranean diet that is not inflammatory, full of omega-3s will definitely help you 
achieve your weight loss goals. If that didn't do, then we'll try the third one. Well, that's called eat, stop, eat. So basically, uh, that's a little bit more intense. That's similar to 5-2, but sometimes people actually don't necessarily feel hungry at all if they eat nothing because your body switches to ketones and once you switch to ketones your hunger will go away that severe hunger that kicks in for a lot of people dissipates if you can stand it if you can go for an hour or two after that your appetite will go down because your body will switch to ketones sometimes when you introduce a snack or something like that you're going to remind your body to switch back to the glucose a regular system and that's going to make you hungry again but to prevent that we have this eat stop eat which is two days a week you basically don't eat anything you can drink non-caloric beverages coffee water crystal light you name it that's non-caloric it's okay as long as you don't have any calories but you can go 24 hours with no calories and it sounds like extremely hard to do but it's not it's not I have done it before once you hit that 12 to 16 hours actually you may be feeling like well you know what I'm not really that hungry anyway so why not go for 24 hours you can do that too so if you're not hungry after 16 hours of fasting you feel good you keep drinking water you can go you're busy that's okay go for 24 hours that's okay so you can do that and I think that is another way to do it that can give you that extra few hours after actually 16 hours every hour of fasting gives you a dramatic exponential benefit exponential means that if you're normally benefiting like in a graphic like this and after 16 hours you go like this this is and then after 16 hours your benefit goes start going up like this so try that if you can another method i would say that's number four right so we call this alternate day fasting so this is more flexible but you do have some sort of fasting every other day so one day you eat regular one day you do some sort of fasting it could be a 16 hour fast it can be 24 hour fast or it can be uh, a 600 to 800 calorie diet type of fast so you can eat once very little calories or you can eat once regular food or you can just skip the whole entire day without eating but next day you eat regular so that is also another way of fasting which also helps dramatically again all these options are given to you because everybody is different i don't want you to get upset if one thing is not working try something else and remember this is like a exercise routine the more you do it the more conditioned you're going to be when you first start it's going to be hard, but once you start keep doing it, then your your body will remember that. Okay, we are fasting again. We don't have to be too hungry. I know it. I know how it goes. Your body get used to it, okay? So some people cannot really go long stretches of time because they're very athletic or they are, you know, constantly hungry. They cannot stand it or etc. etc. Although it's recommended to stand it, but, you know. There is something called, that number five is called the warrior diet. The warrior diet is basically, you can snack on things that are very low calorie, like celery and carrot and stuff like that, just to keep your appetite suppressed, kind of deceive your body as if you're eating with high calorie food. But as long as you do not eat calorie dense food and you stick with low calorie food and you do not snack, more frequently than every three to four hours you can do that and then you can eat a one large meal again when you eat one large meal i'm not just saying go eat like go 